And yes, folks, if anybody's seen this video tonight of mine, and yeah, they don't like us. Too much truth for them. Now, here we go. A little bit more truth for you on everything, folks. Basically, we'll hit play on this, and we'll play a little bit better on the, what they did in the video before, but basically, Texas Night Sky, that squad car caught it, okay? And we're sharing basically, because basically what it did is it pulled down, pushed down on the stratosphere, okay? And it's something that came along with Kepler uh, 33, okay? Because basically there it comes, and it stays up in the sky, folks, because that's the horizon line right there about, okay? And it stays up there. And basically there's from Texas sky, they show you. So let me pop that back, and basically it ricocheted off the atmosphere. Didn't pierce the atmosphere, but it sure tried to. Something did. Okay, and basically, we, a night sky. If you go to watch my last two videos, and there you go, see ricochet off. Okay, now we're gonna go to night sky now. And basically, you'll see the find. If you watch my last two videos, you'll see that the idea that we found it on the Canadian one, but I made a mistake. I refreshed. Okay, wanted to see what was going on new and fresh, and I don't want to refresh this yet either because basically we're gonna plop around here, and we're gonna see. We'll go to the, the the sky chart real real fast. And basically, what they do on we love Wolfram, we love a Wolfram, Wolfram computation. Okay, now they show us Venus bigger because than Jupiter because the idea that it's closer to us and we can see it better right now. Okay, but we're going to show that on the night sky that you know exactly Moon, Jupiter, way they fell off, and in Venus. Okay, and then, bam, bam. Okay, tilt it to the north, and then I see all these, and you can't miss it. You can even see it from here without me even blowing anything up, okay? And I'll go ahead and go up to 200. I think I can get away with 200, and it won't do anything much. It'll switch the screen around a little bit. But the idea, we're getting all this stuff between, and like I was saying, that that if you watch my videos, I'll show, we showed a little bit of, of the Oort cloud off the International Space Station, because all this stuff, that's the moon, folks. There is Jupiter way the hell off, and there's Venus looking bigger to us right now because of the thing. And all this stuff, there is a crazy bunch of stuff in the asteroid belt, and we're getting three-way triangulation, 3D views like I've showed you on Wolfram before with the idea that there's stuff that's listed as being in 3D view. Okay, well, this asteroid belt is giving us 3D view like crazy, okay? Because we can go all the way through these, and I think I'll just pop back down to 100, and I think you can see it, okay? Because you can even see it at a distance, okay? Because these are all different cameras, all different shots, okay? So we'll just click through them real fast, okay? Got that one there. Got that one there. And you see all this asteroid belt stuff, and everything is giving it that 3D action. Because positively tonight, we know where Jupiter and Venus are at, okay? No problem. Jupiter and Venus. No problem. Venus looks bigger in our night sky right now. And Jupiter looks small. But there is tons of stuff around. And I'm not going to even go to them because they don't even... Well, I'll go to that one. But I don't think we're going to see anything on that shot. Because it was from earlier. So there's tons of stuff between us and the moon right now. And Kepler-33 came by. And we've seen what it did in Texas last night. And you'll probably see some good shows again tonight. I.E. as you see that. And that. And you can even see a black spot on that last shot. So let's go back to that night shot of Chickamauga. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And then we'll scoot down through. And then you can see all of them up there. And you can pick out stuff. Darkness, folks. There is something. And basically, uh, it still should be somewhat. So basically, the illumination from the supergiants on the moon. From the sun and the supergiants. Because we know that's what illuminates the moon at night. It gets the glimmer from way out in space of the sun and so forth, and then it shines down on us at night. Okay? So, wild, crazy shots. Okay? And then we're going to go to the Canadian one. I don't think we're going to see... Well, we should see someone close to this if they have... And then, basically, the dark shadows back here also in the night sky. Okay? And that dark shadow up there, and then this triangulation, and the 3D image that you're getting, because we know that that is Jupiter there. That's Venus there. So, it's not doing it. Okay? And in the past, we proved where the moon wasn't there and what the hell it was, and we knew it was the supergiants and stuff like that. So let's pop in there, and we'll look at these shots real fast at 200 real fast. Each one of these, we'll just skip down through it. As you know, that that asteroid belt, lots of stuff going on out in space, folks. Check that out, because I can't go in any much more. But check that out. So take some snapshots and zoom in and take some looks at all this stuff that's going on out there between us and the moon right now. So there's the asteroid belt, NASA blowing smoke up our ass and, and telling us all this, that the idea there's nothing close to us right now and all this stuff like that. And we got the biggest object closest coming by, that Kepler-33. So, 
I can't find it all, so we know that that's Jupiter right now, and that's Venus. It's not doing that stuff off the moon right now, so we're getting some interesting shots tonight. And they can't sit there and say, oh, it was Jupiter. No, it's not. Jupiter's farther away from the moon right now, and it's not doing it, and you can see, bam, right there. And Jupiter's way the hell off because it's looking small in our sky, and then Venus even looks bigger than Jupiter tonight in the sky. So it's all this stuff around the moon, the asteroid belt and constellations and stuff. If it's in front of the moon, it's not that damn far away. So all this stuff's out there and happening. So, i.e., you're getting 3D graphics from stuff between us and the moon. So it'd be an interesting night to go out and look, see what you see. Because you've seen what we saw down in Texas, and it pushed in on our aurora our atmosphere, our spheres, because we have a hemisphere, we have all kinds of spheres, and on the ones that I always was telling everybody that don't be scared of Martians, there ain't no Martians, we got on that plane data, anything I have that shows data on airplanes, and I can't remember what the hell flipping video it was, someone make a comment about it if they remember which one it was that I gave on the very end of that video, I gave heights of stratosphere, we have lots of different stratospheres, folks, there's all kinds of different names for it. each stratosphere, it's called this stratosphere, that stratosphere, hemisphere, Aurora, and I showed it on the video just before this one. So I'm at the northern one, and at the northern one earlier, we were able to catch, and you can even see some of the action here, folks, of what the hell it is. So basically, you were able to see a reflection of a planet between us, because before I thought it was Jupiter, and it's not. Jupiter's too damn far away. So we saw a reflection of a planet, or a very small object, smaller than the moon, possibly, because basically... The moon gave us a 3D image earlier tonight over here on the right-hand side of one of these Canadian shots, okay? So, as you see, you get this also 3D action up there in the north, because they are farther north. This stuff's up in Ontario and stuff, I believe. And basically, let's go ahead and hit refresh, because none of this stuff, is basically, it's got a lot of cloud cover, and it looks good on, the, on that one shot. Let's take a look at this one, but I think that's the one I had down there. Okay, so there's the moon, and then uh, whatever constellation that I had there on that by the moon in the middle of the North America would probably more than likely be that since they're farther north. I think they have that constellation right there, okay? Bleeding through right there on, and yep, that's pretty much it right there. It gets an opposite reflection because it's reflecting down here on. So, and then remember these arrows, watch that because that's north like that. So, Asgard and everything is so let's refresh this to see what we get if any get any new views. Let's see how it changes on us. Does anything clear up or anything get brighter? Not really. Looks like they're losing a little bit of cloud somewhere. But there you get that and then they same that same constellation sitting there. So that constellation right there is that constellation right there. I do believe. And if I'm wrong, I don't think so because it's basically their north. It's up in Canada, so that should be it. Matches up too damn good. So that's back. I screwed up and went back to the wrong site. I'm not going to take time to edit here. So we're getting some interesting. It's better, better off to get right now and go back to the American one because we are just getting some very interesting asteroid belt action and everything like that. And then we know the Aurora got pushed down last night by something. And basically... Maybe Kepler 33 is behind, okay? And I think I'm, I might be right on the, I know it's Kepler, but I don't know if it was uh, 33 or not. I think it was 33. Let me check something real fast. And yes, we're moving really fast away from the sun right now, and our aurora is showing it, okay? Our oral, oval, okay? So we're twisting, so we should get some good quake action out of this. And like I was showing you, the, the, action there and then also let me show you basically I don't know if I was able to fit it in but I was and basically we have a very dark object up by the remnant on the sun because you, as, you, as you can see on behind there a stereo behind as you see there's a big dark shadow that way we see this lots of times and then there's a big basically that's the same thing because that's a head core two okay ahead and behind so there's a big shadow there's big something big up by the sun right now okay and that's wild Let's go look at that. Look at that. That's wild. It could be right there. Something huge up by the sun. That's wild. Check that out. See that? So we know it's making it dark. 
we know it's making it flipping dark as you're seeing it dark there from it and we're also seeing dark and it's just going to be something closer and we've seen it on that shot there okay you're seeing this big dark area there so uh, let me show you what I was going to show you on the graph. So I don't know if I was able to get that in before. I was showing you basically the idea that we have a heartbeat of big CMEs. Basically, it is it's getting funky because the idea that if I don't know if it's going to show on the graph, but we are still breaking up. Our signals are breaking up from CME action, as you see that all the signals are broke up. But on this graph down here, I think it's still there. Hopefully, that we are seeing this massive heartbeat of CMEs, CME, CME massive and it stays high all of it. It's like a heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. And if anybody's ever heard of the sound of the sun, it sounds like a drum on a roll, a long roll. Like that. That's what it pretty much sounds like, okay? And so we're seeing some crazy funky because these stuff, usually the telemetry ones, are more uh analog than digital and they keep solid. And then on the digital ones the digital readings up here, we're getting CME action. It's distorting them, and we're getting break up a little bit. Still tells you pretty much exactly what's going on, but are we getting massive CME spikes somewhere there where it's missing? And we might be because the idea that it's breaking up the delivery of the data. So that's a possibility because we, this is all breakup, folks. All the stuff that you're seeing when you see breakup on there, it's basically from CME action and electrical activity. And basically, the cross phasing. I had that video, and basically, there was there has been showing a phasing of 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 the voltage going across phases folks so I apologize for the one that had that and I had it I put it to private because they screwed up and overlaid my sound and video and I might have made a glitch on that folks I think I screwed up but I'm getting used to the software what I did so anyway I put that video out and I had the wrong video on the audio so anyway we've been cross phasing in space folks and that's probably what the flashes have been out there that we've been seeing on H1A and B on the red, okay? So the electrical is cross-phasing. Anybody knows that in electrical? It's uh-uh, because then boom, bam, lightning in space. And that's pretty much we're getting these giant flashes in space because this is breaking up. And we might be cross-phasing every time that they're skipping this out, too. And we're not even seeing it. But we did. I did see a, a skip earlier today, and I just don't have the video. I'm trying to find it because it cross-phased. And it was one right here that cross phased okay and the green cross phase all the way across those phases folks and yes those are low voltage n120 115 310 550 there's all along the side out in space ladies and gentlemen and it crossed okay cross phasing in space folks okay and then a big dark object up there because it's blocking out and making dark and on here you can really kind of see that there's something huge up way up there too so very interesting and no matter what the most interesting is all is this because there was one that showed us the black object and there's even a black object back there behind down here lower and this is all from night sky and we pretty much have proven that the idea that by looking at the I'm not even going to get so damn repetitive on that because I kept going back and showing you that the idea that you can just clearly see like crazy that the idea that the fact that there is Jupiter and there is Venus and it's not doing this from the moon reflection. So there's a bunch of stuff between us and the moon right now. And I'm trying to find the one that's got that little black. There it is. That's that black object right there. Because each one of these are probably at different times. I haven't been paying attention to look at the clock. So you have to check that out. But I'll hurry up and try to plop in here to each one of these again real fast without showing you the same one. I guess I went back to the same one. Hang on. So very interesting asteroid belt. And basically it almost looks like some stuff is doing a 360 around the sun. Either that or that's still that little dark object there or here or something somewhere. So asteroid belt Arama. And basically you've seen it on that footage of the International Space Station. Let me show you that video again real fast. Yeah, so go watch my ISS Oort cloud, folks, and you'll see that asteroid belt out there. Okay, so more than likely that's what we're getting. 
and watch this because that's probably much more soon.